Now the things I, um, the things sent from you, the sweet smelling aroma and the acceptable sacrifice, well pleasing to God. And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in the glory of Jesus Christ. The Bible says I'm going to supply, the Lord said, uh, Paul is saying the Lord's going to supply all our needs. No matter what, he's going to supply our needs. Um, I know I put out a, a video the other day, I think it was a video. I don't remember if it was on the call or, or what. You know, talking about end times. You know, I, it, it could be. It could be the end times. It might not be. I don't know. Uh, we're just, it's something that you're kind of hearing a lot. But at the same time, if it is, so be it. There's the huge blessing. The Bible calls it our blessed hope for Christians. You know, once everything is said and done, in Thessalonians, Paul calls it our blessed hope. Not just our hope, but he calls it our blessed hope. The pinnacle of all our hope is that when, was, was when those trumpets sound. Imagine that. If you want to meditate on something, imagine that. You know, hearing those trumpets sound and the Lord standing in the clouds, you know, calling us up. As the Bible says, the dead, the dead in Christ will rise first. Imagine that. Let's say we were here, um, uh, I don't know. Let's say next Sunday we're here and uh, all of a sudden the trumpets sound. And the Lord's coming back in the clouds, right? The Bible says the dead in Christ will rise first. And if we're out here doing the driving service, that'd be interesting. The dead in Christ will rise first. Maybe we can look out to the graveyard over here and all of a sudden see all these graves pop open. Everybody flying up in the air. That'd be crazy. You know, hey, there's great, great, great granddad and, and the, you know, the Confederate and the Union soldier going up there together, you know, and all of a sudden we'd be following right behind them. But imagine what time that would be. If it is the end times, the Bible calls it our blessed hope. You know, what a, what a, I don't know, I would Something to meditate on. Hard, again, hard to put into words. Uh, but I thank you all for being here today. Um, we'll, we'll continue this forward as long as we, we, we feel like it's a positive thing. And I think it is. Um, I know we've been communicating uh, with the deacons a lot. You know, and if you have any concerns, you know, let, let myself or the deacons know. Um, and we'll try to, we'll keep moving forward. We'll try to make it better every time that we can. I know some of you all offered to help us set up here. Uh, but we didn't want to, it, it's not hard to set up. Uh, so, uh, you know, don't worry about that. If we need help, we'll definitely ask, but uh, we got it. We just want to, again, be smart with, you know, with y'all and uh, health and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but we'll go ahead and close with a song here, and then we will close in prayer. Uh, Fred, put the offering bucket out there. He won't touch, shouldn't anyway, unless you got gloves on. Touch the offering bucket for, for a couple days. Um, uh, but we threw it out there. We're just trying to make everything seem a little bit more normal. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and sing the song, and we'll close in prayer. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see my chains, my chains.
pray the Lord will bless you all this week. Um, I was uh, talking to somebody else this week, and uh, they were just talking about, you know, what are we going to do? And, you know, sometimes the Lord makes us sit still for a reason. And I put on there, uh, in this conversation, I put on there, I said, you know, sometimes not only does the Lord uh, create these circumstances for us to sit still, I said, but it also might be to change our focus a little bit. You know, cause us to change our focus. You know, so seek, seek the Lord this week. You know, see what the Lord is telling you, because he's telling you something. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 1 that there's wisdom to be found everywhere. So even in this time of, of whether we're doing a lot of fishing, which hopefully that, that, that's awesome. I got some fishing rods ourselves. Um, but what, no matter what we're doing, look for the wisdom that God has out there for us. Because there's something. Sometimes we just have to sit back and look for it. Or sometimes maybe it's just a different state of mind we need to be in to change our focus to see what the Lord wants us to see. But pray one for another. If you can't quite see each other's faces from the car, look at, look at the color of the car. See what kind of car they got. All right? Pray for the car maybe or pray for them. You know, if the car keeps going or, or whatever. But pray one for another. All right? Is that right? I don't know. Anyway. But uh, amen, right? So I hope that's what that was. But, you know, pray one for another this week. And I pray the Lord will continue to, to, to bless us all, lead us forward, as he always does. And uh, we'll go ahead and close in prayer. Dear Lord, as we come to you in prayer, thank you, Lord, for Bethel Baptist Church. Lord, that just encompasses everyone. I want to thank you for everyone, part, everyone that's part of our church. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that's here this morning. Lord, I pray that you'll carry your word to them, Lord, not just in their ears and their minds, Lord, but also in their hearts. Father, let it be a boon to them. Father, let it be uh, just a, a great encouragement. Lord, remind us, Lord, of, of Philippians, uh, the letter of Philippians that Paul wrote. Lord, that he wrote it from prison. Lord, when he had nothing. Lord, let us learn uh, that lesson from him. Lord, let us meditate this week easily. Father, let us easily be able to meditate on the things this week, Lord, that are noble, that are pure, that are praiseworthy. Lord, help us rejoice in your name, Lord, and be content in all things. We love you, Lord, and pray again, Lord, you'll just bless us and keep us. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.